As you may have noticed, the new Alabama abortion laws have people losing their minds. As you've also probably noticed, YouTube has completely demonetized me and is throttling me down, so don't forget to share and donate to me on Patreon. The most prevailing thing I've noticed, however, is how quickly people have become mobilized and vocal about this particular issue. As you may have also noticed, it's mainly the people who have shown no interest in politics before that are screaming the loudest and the whiniest. Why? Because Facebook and Instagram told them to be. How do I know they're all completely void of original thought and opinions? Because they all post the same thing. Surely you've seen this photo of the Alabama lawmakers with something about men, or old men, or old white men, or something like this, or no uterus, no opinion. I don't have to tell you why this makes no sense, do I? I think I do. Telling somebody they need to have direct experience in a subject in order to make a comment or have an opinion on that subject logically makes no sense at all. Haven't fought in a war? You can't talk about it. Haven't thrown a pass in the NFL? Don't talk about it. Haven't been to outer space? Oh, you better not tell me that the earth isn't flat. No space travel, no opinion. Of course, you don't have to be opposed to the law to act irrationally either. This marks the week that Ben Shapiro's The Daily Wire realized that a hell of a lot of their fans aren't fundamentalist Christians. They've been busy lashing out at anyone who had a problem with the fact that the law didn't have any exceptions for rape or incest. People focus on rape abortion cases because they know they would sound like heartless lunatics when they defend a woman killing her consensually conceived child because it's inconvenient. Or they just don't think that life begins at conception, Matt. Ben Shapiro goes after Tommy Lahren for saying it's too restrictive. You're pro-choice, as you've said for years. Not sure why we'd be upset now that you're repeating it. Ooh, good one, Ben. Leave my girlfriend alone. If a 12-year-old is raped by her father and she gets an abortion, the evidence of the crime will be destroyed, but if the child is born, his crime will be discovered. You know, I knew I didn't trust this guy when I saw that he was doing most of his videos from the inside of his car. Here's a headline from the Daily Wire. Squeamish conservatives are afraid the Alabama law is extreme. That's ridiculous. You know who gets super mad if you don't completely agree with their exact beliefs? Social justice warriors. Who else gets really mad and calls their opposition evil if they don't share their opinions? Social justice warriors. The worst case, though, definitely has to be from actress Emily Ratajkowski. Emily decided to pose naked on her Instagram to own the old white men. And definitely not for publicity. Definitely, definitely not. This week, 25 old white men voted to ban abortion in Alabama, even in cases of incest and rape. These men in power are imposing their wills onto the bodies of women in order to uphold the patriarchy and perpetuate the industrial prison complex by preventing women of low economic opportunity the right to choose not to reproduce. Blaming white men? Check. Patriarchy? Check. Sexism and racism? Double check. Emily, if you're going to pretend to care about something to promote your naked body, which I'm not complaining about by the way, perhaps you should have done some research and realized that Planned Parenthood, the United States number one abortion provider, was actually started as a means to control the black population and was purposely put in black neighborhoods to encourage them to get more abortions. So what's the lesson here, everyone? Freaking out on Instagram doesn't solve anything, especially when you do the same things that you've made a career out of making fun of other people for doing. <laughs>